Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Please comment, share, like, subscribe if any of this is resonating for you. Love all my subs. Um, thank you all for hanging in there with me, tuning in. Um, yeah, what a what an interesting journey this has been so far. Again, if you are just tuning in, this is one testimony of many of uh, the Lord completely changing someone's life. Um, if you go all the way back to episode one up until now, it has been a crazy journey. Um, but also know that, you know, my testimony is, you know, I'm no one, but the gospel, that is where, that is where the change comes from, you know? So any of us can have these testimonies, but it is also, you know, what we do with the gospel and, and how we're preaching the gospel and, and moving forward with what Christ has done for us through his word. Um, because in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. And so, you know, all things are formed through him. And, uh, I'm so grateful just to be a part of whatever God is doing right now. <laughs> Um, it's amazing. It's kind of scary. All of the, um, all the change he can make in just a day in someone's life. It is so amazing. But, uh, yeah, just a lot of other brothers and sisters in the Lord who I've been able to connect with through this channel. Um, people in my own family coming to know the Lord and it is incredible. Um, uh, <laughs> just what the Lord can do in someone's life through the gospel. Um, yeah, it, it's incredible. And through his power and through the Holy Spirit. Um, yeah, so don't lose heart, everyone. Please just keep your eyes focused on Jesus and, uh, being about the Lord's business right now. I know the world is going to throw us a lot of curveballs, but we have to, uh, remain steadfast in our trials Whatever trials you're going through right now, we, we need to remain steadfast. Again, get with me offline for prayer if you all need it. I know I do. <laughs> I need prayer all the time. So please, please get with me offline. Um, yeah, there's a lot of deception, especially in Christian churches. Um, <clears throat> this is a testimony from earlier today. This Today's the Lord's Day. And um, I was visiting, visiting some family, so I went down the road to a church, um, which I had visited maybe a year ago, and it was, it was all right. They were preaching from the gospel, so there's that. Um, but when I went this time, it was just markedly different in that, um, you know, we, we started out with a worship, which was, just, you know, cool. But then it went on into talking about money and relationships and I was like, where's the gospel? <laughs> and I started like freaking out, like not like, <laughs> not like out loud or anything, but I was just like, where's the gospel? Like, why are these men teaching about worldly things? Like, you know, there's a solution and it is Jesus. Why are we preaching the gospel? Because so I was looking around you know, it's about like money and relationships and couples and blah, 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 you know, and that's very, you know, that is <clears throat> a portion of something to consider, uh, for a successful relationship, I suppose. <laughs> I don't know, but I feel like, you know, maybe in couples counseling or whatever, but to have that as the, uh, focus of worship and not Christ. I'm like, this is not heresy. <laughs> I don't want to say that, but it was just like, I don't know, maybe, maybe y'all can preach the choir on this one. Maybe it is heresy. I don't know. Um, but it was definitely disturbing. I left in the middle of church and I have never done that before. And I was like crying. I came home and my father, <laughs> he was like, are you okay? Like, what happened? Did you get in an accident? And like, cause I was just crying so hard and I was like, they, you know, they weren't teaching us about Jesus, <laughs> you know? So, um, yeah, I don't know. It was, it was, 
sad. It really was. But anyways, um, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. I was just, I was disappointed. I was really disappointed. So, uh, especially during these times, because, you know, we are coming on the brink of some significant, um, world events. And I feel like that's pretty much the last thing we need to be thinking about right now. I mean, those things are important, but like they're, those are small potatoes compared to, you know, what's going on in the world. Um, I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but yeah, I was definitely just like, wow, like this is what we're focusing on. Okay, cool. Uh, not on Jesus. Got it. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, I feel like, I don't know. The Lord is definitely... I don't know. It's cool how he is with us and he, he loves us and um, he's there. He's right there with us. So just be encouraged by that. But also we need to be um, wise as serpents, gentle as doves and focusing on God's word. And um, that's, that's how we know how we can spot a counterfeit is if we are in his word. So yeah. Um, there's something else. Oh yeah, I kept on getting the word volcano. <laughs> I don't know why I'm whispering. Well, my whole family's asleep right now. But yeah, I kept on getting the word volcano. And I don't know what that means. Um, I'm going to keep praying about that one, guys. I don't really know. But yeah, that was kind of interesting. I've been getting that for the past couple of days. Um, and just waiting on the Lord for all these things to pass. I'm a very, I try not to be impatient. I know I'm supposed to be patient and wait on the Lord for different things. Um, and he's definitely growing me in that area. So I'll glory to him on that. But there's certain things that like certain dreams and things that I'm, I'm hopeful that are coming to pass. And, um, <laughs> I don't know. It's it's hard to wait. It really is. So if y'all could be praying for me about all of that, that would be awesome. Um, and I can give you more specifics offline if you really want them. But anyways, I uh, I'm gonna read Psalm 27 for y'all. I think it's really it's really awesome. It's uh, it's a Psalm of David, and it says. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked came against me to eat up my flesh, my enemies and foes, they stumbled and fell. Though an army may encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war may rise against me, in this I will be confident. One thing I have desired of the Lord, that will I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion, in the secret place of his tabernacle he shall hide me. He shall set me high upon a rock. Oops. And now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around me. Therefore I will offer sacrifices of joy in his tabernacle. I will sing, yes, I will sing praises to the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me and answer me. When you said, seek my face, my heart said to you, your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my help. Do not leave me nor forsake me. O God of my salvation, when my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take care of me. Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me in a smooth path because of my enemies. Do not deliver me to the will of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen against me, and such as breathe out violence. I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord and the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. So beautiful. Um, hope hope y'all are doing well. I am super excited to hear what the, what the Lord is doing through you all. Um, again, this road is a narrow one. It is not a perfect one, though. By any stretch of the imagination 
So um, we need to keep hold, lifting one another up in prayer. Um, there's a lot of revivals happening, and I've honestly been praying that uh, for my unit. <laughs> yeah, and um, yeah, and just brothers and sisters to be awake, those who are sleeping in the Lord still. Um, yeah, but love y'all so much. Hope y'all have a wonderful week, and talk to y'all soon. Bye.